All right then, guys. Let's have a little look at Quiver. I got a little bit of time, so I can't remember how to play this game at all. Uh, tutorial. Should we do it just to see, or should we just go straight for it? Ah, let's do this. Welcome, ancestor, to the Aldorian Oops. summit. From here, you will travel to battlefields near and far, charged with repelling the encroaching dark. So, draw your first arrow from the quiver on your back, and we'll begin. So yeah, with this, depending on how you have it set, you can have it set for the quiver being on your back, so like on your hip, so you pull out an arrow from the side, or you can have it from your back. So for me, Good. it's always from the back. Now, loose an arrow into this target. We put it in there, draw it back. The next target is different. It will teleport you. Well done. Just like that. The panel on your bow hand provides info. Good. If you attack these targets, numbers will appear to indicate how much damage you've dealt. You can enable this feature in combat as well, using the settings menu. To deal more damage with an arrow, draw it back and hold it before releasing. Yeah. This is called an aimed shot. You could just try using it on a target. Do that. If you hold it back, you close. Well Aim struck. While the bow and arrow are your primary weapons, magical abilities await your command as well. One such power is your orb ability, which can be summoned in your free hand. Now throw the orb to damage the targets. Well done. These are merely the basics. There is always more to learn and discover. You are, however, ready to join the fight. When called upon to battle, you must push the enemy back and seal the gates behind you. You will be rewarded greatly for your successes. New bows, armor, and power await you. Now go, That's on cool and now, may man. you find victory. Cheers, oh, Jesus Christ. So yeah, awesome. That looks like target shooting. Let's go and see what that's about for a minute. Unless it might be a time thing. Yeah, start game. That was close, actually. Too low. Still too low. Love our two games. <laughs> Jesus. The scores. Right. Oh, that one, the one I'm gonna hit. That's the one I'm gonna hit. Okay, let's enter. Let's have a look. Boy. They're already attacking. Shoot to start game. Okay, so you can go. Let's do it. Right, so we've shut this gate now. What is that? I have no idea. Like I say, I haven't played this in so long and this is completely different. Shoot that box. Hit his sword. Uh, hit his axe. Screw up. Shuts the doors. I think. Maybe not. Let's get over this side. So I've got to go for that one. Ah, hang on. Every time I'm killing something, it's charging that up. Did I see it? Oh, come on. There he is. Yeah, look. 
Okay, right, let's head back. Can I get that from the way over here? Get in. Headshot. Ah, uh, it's following me around. Now, I wonder... Wow, missed all those shots. If when that fills up, that is what's going to um, maybe change the enemy. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't played this game in so long. Ah, okay, again. Yeah, bow games in VR are just awesome. The fact that it actually feels like, you know, you're grabbing the arrow, putting it on. <laughs> Headshot. Too high. Ooh, too far forward. Sneak the shot. Ah. So hitting their weapon slows them down. Right, this thing is just about to charge up. Yeah, look. Oh! Ah, it advances where we are. Okay. Still off. Now they've got faster as well. I think I should have. Actually, not a bad shot if I take the timing. Oh, that one was close. Hello, what are you? Health, maybe? You charge the gate? Uh, poison. Sick. What the fucking um oh what do you call it? Area of effect. Can't get. Oh, that was terrible. That was even worse. Even though I got it. slows him down. Oh, come on. Thank you. It's getting there. It's getting there. Let's move back to that side so we can see a bit better. Although there's still not that great spots to be fair. That was under his legs. That's the killer wanted. Another thing this does, your arms being out here the whole time, it is knackering. I mean, you play something like Hollow Point, where it's bows, but you've got to hit targets so quickly because they shoot you back, then uh, that's one hell of a, uh, a workout. Nearly there. Oh, that was a terrible one. enemy, come on. I think I saw something purple behind there. Uh, oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Go along! Oh, no one there. Uh, not that much more powerful. Oh, come on! You've got to be kidding! 
kidding me? How did I miss every single one of those? Where's those? Was that a group of enemies? Yeah. Too far back. Uh, so that actually took a little bit of damage. Never mind. So we'll probably play this for another five, ten minutes. It's only going to be a short one. And I'm heading out, so it's a nice headshot. Ah, I hit his armor on his shoulder then. Got him. guys instantly. Uh, Way too high. Nearly at the next gate. Headshot. We'll see what this next enemy is, and then we will head off, I think. Oh, that went between his legs. Way too high. Uh, okay, so those guys, you hit them, and when you do hit them, if it's not a kill, they actually teleport forward ever so slightly. It's quite close, I think. to hear that thing. Yeah. Anyway, guys. We're going to leave that at that. This, after I kill that big dude up there. Can I go long? I really hope to God I don't hit something in my room right now. <laughs> oh, we went straight down anyway. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that for this one. Yeah, I'm quite liking this game actually because, I've not, like I said, I've not seen it since this has all changed. It used to just be you defend the gate from spiders and all sorts of stuff. So this is a nice change up. Good stuff. Right, guys, take it easy.